So I'm in Dallas, Fort Worth, and we haven't done a video at a baggage claim area. Let's, uh, let's shoot one here today, huh? The Luca Pacioli's writings has a number of interesting things that deal with third parties. One of the items he notes is the importance of keeping good records when dealing with civil servants and government. He notes that often those in those positions change, and those that come in disavow the recording practices done of those previously. So keep good records if you're dealing with the government entities. Also, the number of parties involved in banking transactions is another place where he notes the importance of good records. He then starts talking, though, about more third-party transactions. For example, your sales organization going on a long trip that they would in, uh, in Venice in those days to sell goods, taking a lot of goods with them, record the goods that that person takes so that when they come back, they have to account for all those goods with the cash and sales involved and record all of their journals and take all a copy of their records with them as they go on the sales trip. He also notes that as you go around uh, with someone and if you can sign goods with another party, that they'll have to take those goods on and record your transactions for them in their books. And those that you do transactions with, you have to record and reconcile your transactions with their books as you settle the transactions. This is all points to the point of, historically, we have kept separate books for each individual party involved and then had to reconcile the differences between those books. The blockchain concept of a shared ledger is presenting challenges where we have to have trust involved, but we don't have the level of trust that we do within our own organization or with our own family, those that we're close to. This is an important point of, of trying to get to a shared ledger and the efficiencies involved there, and yet making sure that what is recorded is accurate and useful going forward. Even back to 1494, we find issues that touch upon the things that we're dealing with today when it comes to blockchain and shared ledgers and business recording practices.